All right, so this is an important post that I found on Facebook here that we're going to check out. I am not sure what Facebook is anymore, as I've let my page sit fallow for years now. Occasionally, I'll trim the fat, deleting photos or posts and comments from people who don't even know me. I'll sign in sporadically, usually to keep up to date on something or another, some drama or some once a friend's life trajectory. Notice who's aging well and who is not. Or simply scroll and take note that everyone is either having kids or very angry about something. So I don't know what this thing is, some unfortunate and hideously designed merry-go-round of people who aren't even that relevant to me anymore, but whom I don't ever want to unfriend for some weird reason, who I cannot shed completely. Now, because of the pandemic, I am faced with the prospect, alongside all of my fellow humans, of mourning the loss of my previous lives, my previous selves, and in this somehow, and this somehow inspires a question of returning to the platform. So, stock tip, Facebook use going up because of the pandemic, confirmed by this retard. I'm waiting to feel nostalgic for my KI days. I don't know what that is. But that hasn't come yet. I doubt I will, because that experience was filled with a sort of insularity and shared delusions that one can only ever be glad to be removed from. It must be nice to be insane. Because you go, you get to go your whole life. You get to go, you know, if you live till, if you make, if you make it that long, you live to the age 85, and the whole time you're just thinking, I'm insane. And it's like comforting. You know what I mean? This is nice. I'm it's, insane. It's consistent. It's consistent. It's got, you know, there's no, there's nothing. Stability. There's nothing unexpected. This is, look at this. Look. There's nothing unexpected in this person's life. So I want to continue. This is my blog that I wrote. I've been dwelling more in the 2000 to 2007 to 2009 period. This was written in 2020. So this person is talking about their, their own life period from 13 years ago. They're dwelling more in that period. When I went out every night, my high school girlfriends lived in the city during the summer and we somehow circulated in nightlife environments, turning strangers into friends, dancing and sweating all over each other at this revolving ro roster of nightly parties. Side note, at this point, she uh, declined to hook up with me based on fears that I had an STD. Sound bite, please. Sound uh, drop. Um... I had a lot of pain in these times because I was basically a feral infant grasping around for my swaddling blanket and instead of finding and instead finding a euphoric haze of stimulants and alcohol. Damn. Is it worth are women okay? Is it worth being that eloquent with your words? No. I think it makes you look I think it makes you look silly. I think it makes you look bad. Cuz sometimes I don't think there's any point where you should be this eloquent. I think it's in bad in poor taste. Word. Cuz sometimes I'd be like, "Damn, I'm not very eloquent." Like I used to be a lot more elo eloquent when I was younger. I think like, that's a point. You should school. take that as a point of pride. I think you communicate uh, pretty very effectively. You should try to to be like a samurai in all things, the way of the samurai. It is a way of direct directness and um, that's all that's that's the main that's what it is. It yeah. is. It is the way of direct directness. I'm not a. I'm not a beat around the busher. No, you're not. I do not beat around the bush. Um, okay, so back to my blog that I wrote. I don't think I'm alone in pining for a certain era of New York, which has passed. It was sort of impossible for me to have fun after 2009, and I'm sure this is a combination of factors, including my getting older. This breathing is insane. I thought I was going to make the breathing better. It sounds... Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> it was sort of impossible for me to have fun after 2000... Blah, 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 because I'm getting older, expressing my, expressing my pain in different, more wellness-adjacent avenues. That's heavy. More wellness-adjacent avenues. And I think people stopped hanging out in Manhattan. Everyone who wanted some part of the fun that was happening in the 90s to aughts. That's sickening. Happening in the 90s to aughts came to, to New York. aughts? Like 2000s. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Came to New York, <clears throat> and then it just sort of <sighs> collapsed a few years after I moved here. Nonetheless, I imagine that the, that the dance floor, quote-unquote dance floor, is now a very potent symbol for our collective nostalgia for a pre- and post-pandemic world <sighs> in which we can be together, sweat on each other, bump into and smell each other. And I'll point out again, this woman, this girl stopped hooking up with me because she was afraid that I had STDs. 
I think about myself during this time period. I was narcissistically wrapped tight in my blanket of substances, but I was also trying to relate to the people around me, to bump into them, to communicate something to them, to show them my dance moves. That's the twist, is that it's a guy. And to gain some sense of acknowledgement, a simple one like, oh, she's delightful. Was she in the 1920s? Women really just be having... Oh, she's just delightful. Well, you know what? It's it's like, oh, she's delightful. The life of the party. Oh, look at her. She's charismatic. She's on fire. Girls really care about, um, like, being present. Like, <sighs> they think being present's this, like, uh... You or mean having being, a presence. Being at the center of attention, you mean. You don't, yeah, you don't, I mean, you don't mean... That's how they try to, that's how they try to word it though, is like having a presence. You don't mean being present in the Eckhart Tolle sense of enjoying the moment. You mean being, being the, uh, having the light on them. Yeah. Or feeling like they, they are being paid attention to. Yeah. Like they want to. Well, I'm giving this, this one I'm giving her, her I'm giving her attention now because I'm fucking stalking her. You think she's hot? No. You you don't? No. And she's old too. I thought this was a guy the whole time. Sad, she writes like a fucking guy. What is this? This is this, is a, a, this is a girl I hooked up with uh, back in high school days. And this is what is this from? It's from her Facebook. Oh, wh- dude, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. This is a, who's using Facebook nowadays. This is why I don't own any Facebook stock. That's cr- I thought these were two different stories because it's been so long. Same thing. It's just a post. It's an insane post that I found as that's I was very, stalking her. Very good. Very good. Fine. Yeah, man. Another part of my mourning process is to lament all of the skills and capabilities that I never developed. Hint, hint, dear reader, dear audience, look at the the, uh, the object lesson here. Another part of my mourning process is to lament all of the skills and capabilities that I never developed. So you spend 15 years, your whole adult life from age 20 to age 35, bopping around in dance clubs, sweating on other people. Thinking that I have an STD? You're in, New- you're in New York fucking bartenders and you think I'm the one with the STD? Fucking retard bitch. I'll fucking, I'm going to get you. I thought that... I'm going to stalk you. What made me think this play was a drop. guy? I'm going to stalk you. play a drop? I'm going to stalk you. Ah, look at the top of... <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was a guy at first. <laughs> yeah. Well, she has a very masculine well, way when, of thinking. When you said she or wouldn't hook up with me because autistic. I had, when you said she wouldn't hook up with me because I, she thought I had STDs, I thought that was part of the story. Mm, 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 mm. But no, that's I get me. It now. That's my introduction. Sorry for the confu- anyone out there confused right now. So she was not hot. She was hella hot. She was super hot. She was pretty hot. Yeah, she's okay. She had a good body. Yeah. Was when she, she a butter face? She was or? eighteen. No, her face is like normal. Smoking. <laughs> All right. She had, she had a good body, and she used to fuck me while I was driving, which I used to be able to get hard enough to do that. She would sit on my lap while I was driving, which was crazy. She was crazy. It was pretty lit. It was lit. Yeah, she was psycho. We were we were Ooh, me while I'm driving. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> while no, you're driving. My fault. I know. I know. I know. <coughs> no, no, I, I said that wrong. Uh, like <laughs> skill capabilities that I never developed, like how it is that I cannot write songs, understand how music is made, become an expert at making my feelings and thoughts, concepts and images that catch in the throat, etc., tangible for other people the way some can? Question mark. I could try to learn it now. No, no, no. This is Patrice O'Neill has the funniest, best way of breaking this down. That all that shit. You're gonna and I got I've I've talked about this on Instagram and I've caught some flack for this. People have hit me up. You 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 don't know what you're talking about. I'm in school right now and I'm 32. I learned I learned how to program in Python at age 33. So mm-hmm. I got I got pressed about that one. I either. got an entry level job. I got now I'm an intern at a tech company at age 36. Fuck you, Sam. <clears throat> That's crazy. Old people thinking. Uh, that's Patrice O'Neill stand up, which you should watch if you ever want to watch stand up. It's, it's the fun, it's the best stand up. But um, talking about how continuing education, just give it up. If you're forty or fifty years old, you're going to you're going to school. Nah, it ain't happening. Um, I could try to learn it now. I imagine the music she would make. This this brain, this mega brain, this potent weapon of. Musicality. What is it going to create? Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Tune yards. It would sound like tune yards probably, but it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be as polished. I could try to learn it now, but I would. I. It would have to be slated to the back burner till my MA thesis is done. Ooh wee. 
Ooh wee. I remember one time we were hooking up and she was back from back from college and she was excited to tell me about queer theory. And so we were fucking in Do you think this guy is queer? We were fucking in public on some grass. And afterwards she's she says, "I'm doing my I'm doing my paper on queer theory." And I was like, "What the what the is that? Queer this is not about gay stuff. Queer theory is about I don't remember. I kept asking her what it was about and she said it was not about it's not about gay stuff. It's about how and then she said and then she said um children are queer. And I just tuned out. I was like, "Oh." Bruh. I like thinking of queer, <laughs> queer theory as like uh speculating on someone's sexuality. This is like, what's so funny. Th this is from back in um 2004. She was going to school learning about queer theory and they were telling her in school that children are queer and this is I, she made it clear that it's not talking about in the sense of like gay sex but like whatever the f whatever fucking weird definition she had for queer and then she was telling me that that she learned that children are queer and she's going to some art school in new york city it's fucking yeah that makes sense off the chain and so this stuff was this is in 2004 imagine what they're telling people now um, <clears throat> this is so f fun. So I'm thinking, this is what the post says, continuing the post, back burner till my MA thesis is done. So I'm thinking, should I start at least using Facebook, Instagram, etc. again? She's searching, she's soul searching for that creative animus, that spirit, that driving force. She wants to tap into the driving force. She wants to manifest she wants to build cathedrals, divine cathedrals that reach for the heavens. And she wants that, uh, that proclamation. She wants to be that arrow pointing in the darkness. So I'm thinking, should I start at least using Facebook, Instagram, etc. again? Can we get a drop on that one? <laughs> We got. I think. We, I think after this episode, we got to be at, done with bra completely. No. All right. Do it. Again. <laughs> she is. She is. She wants to tap into, the the conduit, that underlies all life. The. The the spirit of, mankind. She wants to tune into that and use that and propel further into the the depth the future whatever so i'm thinking should i start at least using facebook instagram etc again can i find some way of expressing myself in these mediums now that there is not much hope to bump into some stranger and delighting them who are these people who, so she's debate now that she can't be a thought in the clubs, she wants to be, she wants to go on Instagram and be a thought there. And this is the fucking, the shroud that this is cloaked in. <clears throat> who are these people who might find a post I'd make in their feed? Do they know or care about me any more or less than the stranger on the dance floor? Can people bump up against each other and be weird here? Or is this another empty space where it's impossible to simply delight in each other? And then after that, I put a side note. My mom walked in on me fucking this girl. 